today on Santa Monica Update. Talk about a celebration. This six acre park honors the history and the beauty of Santa Monica. Join us in celebration of the opening of Tongva Park. Coming up next, you've heard of Kung Fu, but you probably haven't heard of Kane Fu. You're not going to want to miss this. Whatever your heart desires, you can probably find it right here in Santa Monica. Find out more about Buy Local Santa Monica, coming up on Santa Monica Update. We have these important stories and more news about Santa Monica coming right up. I'm Tamara Henry. Santa Monica Update. Your source for local news in Santa Monica. Santa Monica Update starts now. Hello, everybody. Copper thieves working in the early morning hours have made off with about $25,000 worth of copper from two locations in Santa Monica. The copper is used to conduct electricity to streetlights. The metal has likely been sold for scrap because its value is high, around $3.25 per pound. Now the Santa Monica Police Department is asking citizens to report suspicious persons or vehicles in neighborhoods between the early morning hours of 2 to 5 a.m. If anybody has a webcam that might have caught these brazen criminals in their felonious activity, please call Detective Vince Gamache at 310-458-8978. Residents in the Memorial Park neighborhood are being asked to give input into how the neighborhood could be improved. And there's a survey now on the city's website that asks for feedback on most liked and least liked features and characteristics of the area. Another question asks for your point of view on what the neighborhood needs, such as restaurants, stores, or more open space, things like that. To add your ideas to the survey, go to the city's website at smgov.net slash departments slash PCD for planning and community development. When the page loads, click on plans and projects at the top of the page, then look down the list of plans in progress and click on Memorial Park Neighborhood Plan. The survey will be on the next page that opens. The City of Santa Monica recently celebrated the opening of Tongva Park. Gail Choice is once again excited about what she calls a garden paradise in the heart of Santa Monica. Here's Gail's report. Welcome, again welcome, welcome to our village of Saagna. What a beautiful day it is today, isn't it? And what, a, what an honor, what a, what a blessing for this park, for all of you in the audience and for all of us out here, we're, we're dancing with our hearts today for you. And not only for you, but for ourselves, because it is an honor to us and to our ancestors. It's beautiful. What a beautiful park. The official opening of Tongva Park began with a sacred ceremony from the Tongva tribe. I do want to start off by thanking Andrew Morales, Guiding Young Club, for conducting the spiritual park blessing on behalf of the Tongva people. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited that uh, the park is named after us, the Tongva. And um, just to let people know that we are the first people of Los Angeles and uh, we're always going to be here and to share our culture. From honoring the past to looking towards the future, the community came together to welcome Santa Monica's newest park. City officials gathered with community members to celebrate the collaborative effort which resulted in this beautiful park. What's great about the park is both the aesthetic and beauty of it, but also the range of places. You can come here, you can walk, you can have solitude. There are areas where you can gather, have a picnic, there's a play area for the kids. So whatever your mood, you can find something to do every day in Tongva Park. The park reflects the community and it's turned out, I, I, you know, in our mind's eye during the planning, we think we know what it's going to be like. We know it's going to be special, but until you actually see it, 
you don't realize just how special and how fantastic it is. I think Tongva Park is a beautiful landscaped uh, architecture. And that sounds very odd to say about a park, but if you actually come out here, and it's across from City Hall, and it's part of the continuity of the City Hall front yard, if you come out here, you see the different levels of terrain, the different activities, the, the from you know just zen quiet spaces to activity spaces for kids, to viewing circles and viewing decks. I mean, it's a wonderful piece of architecture in Flatland. Park designer James Corner is said to have set a new standard for public space. As a designer, you love the geometry and the line and the materials and the tactility and the plantings, but it's really the people that bring it to, to life. And so it's very gratifying to think that you've designed a beautiful place, but it's also a stage set for people to act out and enjoy and, um, and just be together. Santa Monica Police Chief Jacqueline Seabrooks shared park security plans with us. What we've done is we are doing two things. One, we've increased and made sure that our uniformed presence in the park is seen, visible, and felt. Uh, equally, I always say, you never know, there may be somebody who's in the park who represents the police department and is not in uniform. And then secondarily, what we're looking at is we're looking at getting a force multiplier to ensure that there's a constant presence in the park. And that requires uh, some teamwork and with our uh, human resources department as we look at some structural improvements to staffing in the police department that will allow us to broaden our reach and make sure that there's, this park is a, a safe venue for people to visit and just enjoy. Gail Choice, Santa Monica Update. Tongva Park is open daily from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. If you'd like to preview the sites of Tongva Park, go to smgov.net slash Tongva Park. When it comes to Kung Fu, we all know the names Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan, the poster boys of this ancient martial art. But here in Santa Monica, we've got a whole new class of martial artists taking over a new genre known as Kane Fu. What exactly is Kane Fu? You'll just have to see for yourself. Greg Goldner has more. Here at Club 1527 inside the Ken Edwards Center right off 4th Street, it's all about seniors and today it's all about Kane Fu. Master Lawrence Rouse began studying martial arts nearly 40 years ago. Today he teaches people of all ages the ancient art of Kung Fu. However, he's recently developed a new style of Kung Fu for seniors known as Kane Fu. Simply put, Kung Fu with a cane. We're teaching seniors how to use what they already have. So if they're on with a cane, we want to teach them the best way to use it. Now, now we know they're not going to go toe to toe against an attacker, but what we want to do is buy them some time. Our membership frequently come in and share with me about what it's like to sit alone waiting for the bus and how they feel vulnerable, they are nervous about having their purse grabbed or what could happen to them. And so we wanted to do whatever we could to make them feel safe and feel like they're armed with something that would make a difference. According to Master Rouse, Kane Fu can be all they need to deter an attacker or buy them enough time to get some help. In addition, it's a great confidence builder for seniors to know they have the ability to defend themselves. It clearly instills confidence and we also, we, we go over a little bit of exercises just to get them used to moving so hopefully we can try to improve their physical condition as well. Again, not to go toe to toe, but so they can execute the proper moves to hopefully get away. And it's a major confidence builder when they feel they have some weapons in their arsenal. Smoke, careful, smoke. <laughs> this stuff works. And if you thought this was just a gimmick, think again, because, well, I decided to play guinea pig. If someone were to come in and grab them around the neck, the throat, dub, double hands around, come down around into here, oh my. back up into the nose. That's effective. Very effective. I came hoping I'll never have to use this, but it'd be a handy thing to know. I mean, I do know some of the techniques, I think. <laughs> but you know, you can always learn more. I'm not really a, a, a person who's afraid, you know, but um, it, it will probably help my confidence level, like going out at night and so forth. Oh, I just saw an ad and I thought maybe I might need some help if someone came over and attacked me and I didn't freeze out. And then Elaine told me the real reason she wanted to take cane Fu. If I saw some gorgeous hunk of a man and I wanted to hug him, I figured that's the only way I can grab him. <laughs> Whether you're there to learn some self-defense moves, maybe build a little more confidence, or, as Elaine put it, find a new way to grab yourself a hunk of a man, everybody got something important out of Kane Fu. 
For Santa Monica Update, I'm Greg Goldner. For over 40 years, Master Lawrence Rouse has been an advocate of self-defense, and as you can see, he's quickly becoming a popular fixture with the seniors here in Santa Monica. For more information on Master Lawrence, check out his website at PlayaVistaMartialArts.com. And for more info on how to join Club 1527, head on over to WiseAndHealthyAging.org. When you buy local in Santa Monica, you're part of a win-win situation. The local revenue from local sales tax stays in our community, and local retailers are also more likely to carry items fit for your taste and lifestyle. Reporter Gail Choice visited the fourth annual Buy Local Expo and walked away chanting, Buy Local First. Whoever said variety is the spice of life must have had Santa Monica's businesses in mind. We have over 70 exhibitors here at the Buy Local Expo representing really our whole range of eat local businesses, shop local, play local, stay local. Indeed, there was a lot to see, taste, and to try on. Uh, Michael Payne, I'm a dentist in Santa Monica. We participated in this last year. Uh, we had a great turnout. My name is Brianna Burns and I am a beachy cream girl. It's made in our store on 12th and Wilshire. We have a variety of flavors. Today we have our six signature flavors. Um, it's all organic ingredients. We don't use any, you know, processed anything, nothing like that, and it's just delicious. My name is Ross Cantor, and the business is Cookie Goo. So our, our customers are all Santa Monica and the West Side, and you know we are, and it's kind of like selling to families. My uh, name's Shady Abed, and the name of the business is Z Garden. It's a family-owned. It's a Lebanese kitchen, and we're doing like everything fresh from scratch. Mediterranean food. Last year, purchases made at Santa Monica businesses raised over $47 million for our community. By local last year, raised $7 million just for the Santa Monica Malibu Unified School District. The Buy Local Santa Monica campaign has over 650 businesses actively participating in the campaign. Santa Monica business owners can join for free. Well, when they join, it shows that they're supporting this community. And so they, when that will add them to the buy local .com business directory. Um, so they get a free business directory listing. They get a decal to put in their window um, that says they're a participating business. And we just help to celebrate them. We have a newsletter. We have uh, business networking events to help the businesses network with each other, to encourage them to buy local and support one another. And it's really just free marketing really to let our residents know about all these great businesses we have here and what kinds of services that they have and what makes them special and unique. Gail Choice, Santa Monica Update. To learn more about buying local in Santa Monica, visit the website at buylocalsantamonica.com. Sustainability and food have become hot topics lately, but what is sustainable food? Well, Santa Monica native and budding filmmaker Anastasia Sonkin explores Santa Monica's sustainable food commitment and how it's creating community, promoting healthy eating, and helping the environment all in the same bite. <laughs> to see this engaging documentary, just search Google for youtube.com slash foraging connections. It'll come right up. Imagine Santa Monica 20 years from now, a city that produces no garbage and recycles or reuses everything that is thrown away. As a Santa Monica resident, you're invited to take the Zero Waste Survey to give your input on ideas for possible programs, policies, and infrastructure improvements. When you complete the Zero Waste Survey, you may qualify for a free kitchen compost pail, a pressure washing service, or a bulky item collection service. The prize is varied depending on the residential complex size and participation. To take part, just go to smgov.net slash r3, then scroll down to find and fill out the Zero Waste Survey. Well, that's it for this segment of Santa Monica Update. When you go to see Tongva Park, we hope you'll also take a look at Ken Genzer Square in front of City Hall. There'll be a celebration of Mayor Genzer's legacy on November 17th at 11 a.m. Join us. I'm Tamara Henry speaking for all of us at City TV. Thank you for watching.